Scorpios. Hello guys. Welcome to Cheeky Spiritual Guide. This is your love reading. I hope you guys are being safe out there and, you know, trying to keep yourselves healthy and, you know, um, taking all the measures so that we're all, you know, remain in a good place in spite of the circumstances that our world is experiencing. Um, wow, this is really something isn't it but you know we're gonna still conduct some love readings for you guys see what's happening between you and your love interest okay scorpio holy spirit holy angels universe source what messages do you have for scorpios in love giving them guidance understanding wisdom knowledge enlightenment and truth truth for clarity truth for freedom truth for healing and truth for peace of mind. Ugh. All right. What messages do you have for my Scorpios in love? All right, final shuffle, guys. Please keep in mind the roles can't flip. I could be doing this reading for a cross watcher. Don't try to make it fit and just take it how it resonates, okay? If you find you do not resonate with this sign, check your other signs. Also, check your love interest sign as a cross watcher because your message could be there at the bottom. We have the page of pentacles. Do you want to talk to somebody? Maybe you want to talk to someone? You have a message. Um, this could be a child, but this could also be pages or messengers maybe about starting something new a new beginning of something you could have a new idea or a new opinion about something as well but we'll see how this page of pentacles play out this is also earth energy could be dealing with someone younger i don't know we'll see spirit what message do you have for taurus and i'm sorry taurus scorpio in love you could maybe you're dealing with the taurus <laughs> Because that just came out, y'all. I don't even know why that came out. Maybe because I was thinking Earth sign. Um, sorry. All right. What message do you have for Scorpio in love? What messages do you have for Scorpio in love? What do they need to know? Page of Swords. Okay. So... <sighs> So someone is wanting to either speak the truth or trying to find out the truth of something. Three of Cups there. Like, I feel like someone wants to talk to someone. They want to have a conversation. There, there's a message here about the truth of something. Why is a page of swords here? That's a an air sign you could be dealing with a younger air sign but this person is curious okay they're trying to find things out they examine things they spy you know positive and negative they they that's what the, that's what the page of swords does swords does why is it page of swords here okay that's too many cards spirit can i get fewer cards why is the page of swords here? Why is the page of swords here? Oh, really? Okay, six of pentacles. So maybe they, either this person is wants to tell you, hey, I've been giving to someone else, there's someone else in my life, or they want things to be equal between the two of you. Like they want to give more to you six of pentacles yeah like maybe because this is like equal give and take this is um like someone giving you something why is the six of pentacles here man there's a page okay i'm gonna take these it's a lot but oh really So, okay, Nine of Cups, the Hierophant. Okay, so maybe this person, they are wishing for 
something more traditional. This could even be commitment or marriage. And the only reason why I'm not, I, I didn't even want to say commitment or marriage is because I saw two pages. I have a page here. They're usually not going straight toward that. Um, so maybe something more traditional with the higher font. Um, you know. But like this person is waiting. Seven of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. This person, this person is waiting to have a conversation to send this message. I feel like that's what I'm saying. I think somebody wants to say, this is how I feel. This is what I want. What is the energy behind the Page of Swords? Okay. Oh, okay. So we have the wheel in reverse. Hold on. We have the Seven of Swords in the reverse. And we have the Queen of Cups. Okay, so Scorpio energy. Well, it's a water sign, specifically Cancer, but I read these as all water signs. Um, it doesn't have to be. Don't get hung up on the signs, but I just call them out because I know a lot of you like to hear the signs. Like this is a Taurus Hierophant. Okay, but the wheel in reverse is it talks about some like there's an outside influence, right? That is. Um. I don't know it's like something this could be something outside of themselves there's them their self causing a need to confess right maybe confess their love maybe confess that they are feeling you right there's something with the wheel this is a major arcana in the reverse something is influencing this something what is the energy behind the wheel in reverse Ooh, ten of cups i think is their feelings they feel something for you scorpio they want to tell you like i actually really want to give more to you and have equal give and take and you know commit this could be commitment this higher font like really have something like a real relationship. And I think it's their need, they, their desire to be happy is kind of like influencing them. I keep getting this influence to confess their feelings. What is the energy behind the seven of swords reverse? What is the energy of the seven of swords reverse? Okay. Queen of Cups, Six of Wands, Temperance. Hmm. Queen of Swords, Six of Wands, Temperance. It's like they, they don't want to BS around anymore. That's what I'm getting. Like they really want this victory. They want this balance with you. I mean, they could be feeling very good about this like you're a good influence what you offer is good you're stable balanced I mean they could just be feeling that way about you and they want to just say how much they love you very um I think they want to tell you how they feel well, this is currently what's happening so I feel like somebody wants to express their love to you let's see why is a page of pentacles there Oh man, that's a lot. Okay, well, we'll take it. I, I feel like, yeah, it, this could be someone you've already dealt with. I, it's like they, they're wanting to come together. They're wanting to reunite, reconcile even. And they're no longer wanting to be that, have that in and out, not in and out energy, but like, um, sorry, this is a page of wands, not a knight of wands. It's like they, they could be holding on, holding back. Let's see, what is the energy? What is the energy behind that page of wands? 
was the energy of the Page of Wands. Knight of Wands. Okay. Knight of Pen uh, Nine of Pentacles. So, okay, hold on. Why is the Eight of Cups here? I, okay. Knight of Cups. What is the energy behind the Three of Cups? Yeah. Oh. Oh, Scorpio. Death card with the Five of Cups. There's your energy. But. I think this part. Reconciling. Coming back together with you. Would. Like. Put an end to this sorrow. Put an end to, you know, f dwelling on the past, dwelling on the negative. Because I feel like this person, it they're holding on to, I don't know, I guess some type of, I don't know, like freedom. Like, in, they're trying to, it's like, I'm trying to remain, I don't know, this, this is, this part is a little confusing because, what is the energy behind the Four of Pentacles? Whoa. What is the energy behind the Four of Pentacles? What is the energy behind the Four of Pentacles? The King of so I have the King of Wands. The only thing I don't have is the Queen of Wands. It's like, but this per it's like this person still wants to hold on to their freedom. That's what I'm getting. They feel this way about you. They want to. It's almost, and I hope I'm. I hope I'm wrong, but it, it feels like I want to. Go through the motion and act traditionally. Like, you know, do this whole traditional thing. But I still want to be able to do my thing still. Because here I just feel like they're holding on to... Like being a free spirit. Because the Page of Wands is a free spirit. I mean, you could be dealing with the fire sign as well. But I have the king, the page, and the knight of wands. All of those are essentially free spirits, you know, player, um, in and out <laughs> cards, representation. Then you have the nine of pentacles, which is somebody who's rolling solo. I just kind of get, I get that this person probably is in love with you, but... I'm just, it's a, it's a weird, it's a weird thing. Like I want to commit to you, but I, it's like, it almost feels like open relationship. That's what it feels like. It feels like open relationship. Like it's, you're going to be my main thing. Like you're the one who's going to get, you know what I'm saying? The higher font out of me, but I don't want to be tied down. Like I still want to be able to run and do my thing. Listen, if you're in a relationship where you don't feel like a free spirit, like you feel hog-tied and bound, then you you need to reevaluate your relationship because um mm, because that's not healthy. Like you should never feel bound in a relationship or imprisoned. Like love, the right relationship actually makes you feel free. It just brings you this happiness. And I think I think this person views you as the ten of cups so i'm sorry if i say you and you I, I mean i could be talking to a cross watcher but you know take it how it resonates okay so let's see what happened in the past i mean because this could be you scorpio or this could be your love interest feeling this way let's see what happened in the past between the two of you Wow, 
wow, I've never, I mean, wow, they want you. They want this, like, happily ever after. But they're like, I still need to be free. Well, I, I would need that person to de define what they consider free. Like, you want to go sleep with other people. You want to be able to talk to other people on the phone. Like, what is your freedom? I mean, were you in a situation where that person wouldn't let you leave the house? Like, you couldn't hang out with your friends? Like, I would need to know. I, I need, I have questions. I need answers. All right, what happened in the past between Scorpio and their love interest? Whoa. Wow. I don't know if you guys saw that Empress. That was the Empress. She did a backflip. Wow. Okay. <laughs> she... Wow. Okay. Uh, what happened in the past between Scorpio and their love interest? There we go. The Page of Wands. These pages, man. So, someone was... Maybe someone was in... Look, the Page of Cups again. I mean, the, a lot of pages, not a, not the page of cups again, another page. I mean, we have the page of swords, we have the page of pentacles, now we have page of wands and the page of cups. So, Scorpio, you could be dealing really with someone who's youthful or immature or who, who expresses themselves or, or, or the, they get, the way they get down in life is very... Um, I don't know. I don't want to say underdeveloped, but immature, not quite mature. Not that they're immature, but not as mature because I'm getting all this page energy. Why is a page of wands here for what happened in the past? Why is a page of wands here? Oh, so this, yeah, this could be a younger fire sign you're dealing with, but the ace of cups in reverse. So you received some bad news, maybe. Six of Pentacles. Like this person was giving to another person. You know what I'm saying? Sharing their Pentacle, whatever that is. Take it how it resonates. With someone else. And maybe they kind of left you like kind of not hanging, but they weren't giving to you as much. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Ooh, Five of Cups, yeah. So this person, like someone had some bad news. Something that was very, like sadness here. Yeah, but there's here's regret though. Why is the five of cups here? They regret it. Whoa. Ooh. They regret oh strength card. Yeah, this 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 is definitely someone who's unfaithful. There was infidelity for sure. Why is the strength card in reverse? Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. So this person you're dealing with, Scorpio, I feel like they want that whole traditional thing, but they also want to be able to do, dip in and do it whenever they feel like it. Because it seems like they were unfaithful in the past and they, I don't know, it's almost like they were happy about it. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Like they like that whole thing. The Four of Swords, the Moon, and the the fool um so someone could have just retreated taking a break went into hiding you know not making themselves known because they were either trying to start something new or they were um taking a leap of faith towards something why is the fool card here the knight of wands <laughs> The Knight of Wands with the Nine of Pentacles. It's like they want it to be, they don't want to be tied down. What is the energy behind the Moon card? 
that's what I'm getting, guys. Like, uh oh, that six of wands reverse was trying to pop out. That's just someone who, um, yeah, like, like a delay, right? Like something is being postponed. It's not moving forward. What is the energy behind the moon card? The Hierophant. Dang, for some of you, this person was hiding a whole marriage. But still wanted, I get this freedom, this in and out. Like, they wanted to be a player. They wanted to act single. You know, like, they don't want to be tied down. Ooh. What, what is the energy behind the Page of Wands? And you, you had to have found this out. Oh, my God. You did. Scorpio. And maybe as a result, maybe you, they were out doing this and then maybe you was like, well, I'm going to go offer my cup to somebody else too. Like secretly though. You get what I'm saying? Look, this is third party energy offering your cup like this is to someone else. But like with that seven of swords is like sneaking and doing it. Hiding like sneaky and... Wow, this is, that feels a little unhealthy to me. <laughs> a lot unhealthy. And then that Knight of Wands is like they were never just stable. It was like an in and out type of relationship. But they feel bad for cheating, whoever this person is, if that means anything to you. But they, they, but they... I, st I feel like they, this is what made them happy to have you and to have other people. Like you could have been like, you know, like their main person. I don't know. All right. Let's see what's going to happen here between the two of you. Let's get the potential outcome. But you could be dealing with a very immature type of person. I mean, I was, I keep seeing it, the way that they, you know, handle things. So, all right. What is the potential outcome here for Scorpio and their love interest? But I feel like you, you were like, I'm about to go find me somebody else too, which the both of you, that's probably like not the best solution. So let's see, what is the potential outcome between Scorpio and their love interest? Oh. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not taking those. Oh, the devil. Capricorn energy. So, oh, man, that devil card. It's just toxic. Like, it's not going to be healthy. It's, there's, you guys... The two of you have destructive patterns. You have unhealthy patterns. You have patterns. Um, it's, it's just not good. Why is a devil card here for the potential outcome? Like maybe this is just how it's going to be between you guys. Oh, queen of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, this is about like there's no trust. There's jealousy, there's, um, oh my God, with the King of Cups reversed. Wow, Scorpio. Yeah, th there's just, I don't think you guys are, <laughs> this shouldn't be a relationship, to be honest. It's like, yeah, we can be together, but I still need to be able to go be with other people. Or I still need to be, you know, I need to, I need to still kind of act single. So maybe you guys parted ways. Maybe you aren't dealing with each other and this person wants to come back, but it's like under these circumstances, like I want to come back. Like I miss you. I want to do this, and this, and this, and this, but I still need to be able to dip it and do it. Uh -uh. Toxic. And then in turn, I think you, Scorpio, was just like, well, I'm going to go find me somebody else, you know? I'm going to offer my cup to somebody else. Like, I'm going to go sneak around and, like, 
y'all come on y'all this is this is this is like scandal the king of cups reverse is like some like some type of a scandal there's mistrust here you guys are suspicious of the other person toxicity oh my god why why is the king of cups reverse yep stress worry anxiety Oh my God, you guys, why is the Nine of Swords here? Like, I can't even make stuff like this up. And you, somebody feels like they deserve better. You get what I'm saying? Scorpios could be you feeling like you deserve better. Because I, I got like your person was the one who was like, you know, wanting to be a free spirit, but you deserve better. I think you're going to discover that. What is the energy behind the devil card? Two of wands. You're looking at you're looking at the situation. You're looking at your life. You're you're like at a crossroads. You could still be dealing with this person. Like they may still hit you. Why is the two of wands here? I don't get that you guys are completely not dealing with each other. Um, why is the two of wands here? And so maybe that's why you're at a crossroads. Why is the two of wands here? Eight of wands. So you're ready to take some sort of action or communicate. Why is the eight of wands here? Maybe you're deciding if you should. Why is the eight of wands here? Why is the eight of wands here? Okay, thank you. The devil. So maybe you want to talk about how toxic and unhealthy this is. Like maybe you want to say something. Like, dude, this is not a good situation. Why is the devil here? Okay. Ace of Cups. Man, I promise you that Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles together. This is the third time it has fallen out. Like, I think you want to tell them, hey, you know what, for us to start something new or start back up again, but I think this is something new. Like, you feel like it's toxic. Like, it's not good. Like, and maybe you want to tell them about their in and out energy. Like, you can't be in and out of my life. Have my feelings going back and forth in and out like that's not cool. Because I, I get here you feel like you deserve better. Maybe you want to talk. I, I mean, they want to talk to you. Maybe you're like, all right, I'll talk to you. But I'm I'm not going to be trying to reunite because I don't think this is healthy. Not with the devil card there. Not with the knight of wands in and out. Unstable. Look, even the queen and the king... Queen of Pentacles, King of Cups in the reverse. There's worry, stress, anxiety. And you're like, wait, no, I, I think I deserve better than this. And maybe you will come to that realization if you haven't already. So let's get your advice. Let's see what you should do here. Man, that's not good, Scorps. That's not good at all. Oh, man. All right. What's Scorpio's advice regarding this love situation? What is Scorpio's advice here? Okay, right off the bat. Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands. That's what I'm saying. Just prepare yourself for things to not go well between you and this person. I'm just saying. This is preparing yourself for the worst. Like, it's like you've already been through the battle with this person. It's not going to change. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Yeah, the tower. Okay, that was trying to pop out. Why is the Nine of Wands here? The strength. Okay, this is like reversed. Um, So this is... So things may get very petty between the two of you. Why is the strength card reversed? Could be some petty stuff. Why is the strength card reversed? Oh.
Okay, well, I'll try to take it a lot, but pettiness, the devil card, again, that's that toxic energy, just destructive patterns here. Someone, you know, is worried. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is what's happening or will happen. Again, Knight of Wands. Um, if you're worried, Six of Wands, excuse me. If you're worried about following your passions, don't. Because I, I feel like if you do the right thing for yourself, you're, you're going to get the victory. Like, things will pan out for you. But if you're going to stick around, you have, please, just expect this to, like, you're going to see it not work out. What is the energy behind the Nine of Wands? The King of, the King of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, this is, you, you, you're not going to be able to control this. You know what I'm saying? You can ride it to the end. It's not going to change. And you're going to lose grip a grip on this. Is You're not going to be able to fix it. Why is the King of Pentacles reversed? I mean, that's what a, that's what the King of Pentacles reverse represents. Someone who's just lost their grip. And they'll, they'll ride it. Like. You may not even make it to the end. Like you guys may, you know, whatever the end is. Well, why is the King of Pentacles reversed? Why is the King of Pentacles reversed? Okay. The Emperor, Aries energy. Why is the Emperor here? This could be Two of Cups. Mm. Two of Cups. There's a breakup, but this is in reverse. So like some sort of a breakup, inequality. Ugh. It's not going to work out. You're going to lose control here um, with that emperor. Someone, I mean, this could be you or the person you're dealing with, but I don't know, guys. I just, I just get that it's just not going to work out. But it's saying, brace yourself for the worst, like with this situation. All right, Scorps, that's all I have for you guys. I wish I had a better reading. I thought it was going in that direction, but maybe, but maybe, maybe not. Okay. All right, guys, be safe. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And um, wishing you guys love, peace, happiness, all that, okay? Mwah. Deuces.